finally frighten you so? What is it about me that intimidates you? Why can't we be, dare I say equal? Why can't we be smart? Why can't we be knowledgeable? Why can't we just be from the good side to the bad side, even if it's some kind of negativity with me that I'm doing? It's a way to handle me. It's a way to handle things that does not have to result in death. There's a way to handle things that doesn't have to result in a phone call. Why can't you just talk to me? Why can't it be enough just to accept differences? This isn't just about the cop. This is about Amy. Barbecue, Becky, poolside patty, the neighbor peeping next door, the lady looking in the grocery store, the, the man following you in the retail. This is about whoever. What did we do to you? On this day, on yesterday, on last week, on last year, what did we do to you? I can't breathe. I mean, I can't imagine what the victims were going through in those moments. And I definitely can't imagine what the family's going through right now. And I'm talking about past or present. I mean, I don't even want to imagine it for my child. My child, brother, father, loved ones, anybody, I, I don't. I don't understand what you don't understand. I don't get what you don't get. Like, what? what is it? What? What is it? What is it that makes you do what you do? You say we're angry black people. Then you do what you do. Then we turn around and get angry about what you do. And you go and stigmatize us again. Like we're in the wrong. For responding and reacting. I don't get it. Honestly, I don't even think about you. There is nothing about you that is that important in my life that says, I want to attack you today. I want to argue with you today. I want to scare the living daylights out of you today. I'm not thinking that in my head, but you're thinking... That's what I want to do. You're reacting to me as if that was my plot and plan the entire day. It's not cool. It's not necessary. It's suffocating. It's suffocating. I don't want to feel this. It's got to... It's got to end. When will it end? Will it end? I should not have to give my son speeches just for him to go outside. Because once he asks the question, all I can think about is what happened to somebody else. And I don't want it happening to my baby. It's suffocating. It's suffocating. What happened to the only thing we should worry about is making sure our children cross the street safely. Look both ways. What happened to protect and serve? And now it's every single time it's a worry and a fret. It shouldn't be that. And then you want to ease your conscience 
to dig up dirt. Something that has nothing to do with nothing. I don't care if I robbed 40 different stores. It has absolutely nothing to do with you applying pressure on my neck. Absolutely nothing to do with it. Has absolutely nothing to do with you ignoring the fact that you're hurting me. That I can't breathe. I'm sure I'm not a cop. Never went to the police academy, but I'm sure it's other ways. What's the word to subdue someone? Whatever happened to handcuffing them and sitting them down. Whatever happened to putting them in the back of the police car where they can't get out. What happened to all that? People are way past tired of being tired. I feel depleted. I feel empty. I know I'm not alone in this feeling. I don't understand it happening. I don't understand people getting off for it. I don't understand why you don't understand it. And then you have a nerve to get upset when people say black lives matter. We believe that everybody matters, but guess what? Everybody's not going through this. Everybody is not going through this. So when somebody says black lives matter, that's the case at hand, man. It ain't about you. That's the problem. You can't even accept the fact that when we say black lives matter, it's because something is going on with us. And you don't care about us. So why wouldn't we care about our own? It's got to be a better way. We shouldn't have to live in defense mode. I shouldn't have to tell my son to alter his wonderful way of life to protect himself. I definitely shouldn't have to tell him to take it so that he could be safe. What else do I do? We're so tired, we're so beat down, we're so weary. One thing about it, <laughs> out of our tiredness, out of our weariness, out of being fed up comes strength. <laughs> Strength like no other. Like, mm. we may be tired of standing, but we still standing. <laughs> may be tired of fighting, but we still fight. It, it's a strength. God, it's got to be God, God alone. It's got to be God alone. Still pressing. Still moving forward. Still going strong, but not even a but. However, the unfortunate part is still not good enough for you. So unfortunate. You are missing out on some beautiful people. You are missing out. You're so busy living scared that you're not taking the time to smell the roses in us. Love to you all. All. Especially love to us.